I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Bellroy All Conditions Card Pocket, which I've been testing for the last month. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. This wallet has a big focus on durability. So like Bellroy, the, um, they use a lot of like leather materials. So this is a water or water resistant leather shell pre-molded. And then there are YKK, it's a YKK zipper on the outside here with a aqua guard. Um, so you can just see it's like a very solid package. It's pretty stiff. It holds its structure really, really well, even when it's not fully, um, packed out, which we'll get into in a second. Um, but it, it, it was a little bit difficult to open at first. This zipper has definitely broken in over the course of my month of testing, but at first it was pretty hard to actually get unzipped quickly, which I found just was like a little bit of a barrier to entry. Um, but for me, it once it got a little bit easier, it wasn't as fussy to open up. So that was really great. On the front here, we have a uh, debossed Bellroy logo, which is really nice. And then a paracord zipper pull, uh, which is nice and sturdy as well. So getting into the actual wallet itself, it kind of rounds over this corner here and it opens like two thirds of the way, I guess you could say, oh, it's kind of like a halfway type zipper thing. Um, but you can look at the inside there and then you have two slots for cards and a little bit of extra space in the middle for cash or something like that. One thing I did notice when on our zipping and unzipping, it's not uh, really tough right now, but sometimes the cards would like slip off into this corner or right around this edge here. So when I went to go and open it, it would get caught. It was like if the cards went like, this almost, and you can see they would just sort of start to poke along the edges. Um, and I did run into that issue pretty often. I found myself more often than not, um, if I hadn't opened the wallet in a while, the cards would shift around a bunch when I just had it in my pocket or whatever, and then I'd go to open it. And I'd all you'd have to do is just kind of like push along this edge and get them back into place. But in the center here, um, you have space to fit 10 cards. I have six on one side and four on the other, which I found was the best configuration for me. And then cash in the center. Um, this little pocket on this side is a little bit wider. You can see it just has a little bit more flex to it. So I put just like the cards I didn't use super, super often, but if I had a lot of them, I'd put them on this side. And then cards that I use more frequently, I would have like my ID and like the one card that I use most often on this side here. Um, so that's the configuration that worked really great for me. And then in this back side, you have a key leash actually, which I think is one of the coolest features of this wallet. Um, it just attaches like this. It's um, a very, just kind of like elastic leash, very easy to get a key on and off. But I really like this because um, I, I would just like keep one key on it. And then if it was a key I didn't use very often, like if you have a mail key or something like that, you can just always have it on hand, but it's not just like loose in the pocket. So I thought that that was really great. Um, the biggest thing with this is its structure because it is a little bit stiffer. You can see with nothing in the wallet, it's still holding that shape, which means that you're gonna have this kind of large footprint regardless of how much you have stored inside. So that can be, you know, 50-50 depending on if that's good or not for you. Like I mentioned with this hard shell holding its shape really, really well and not being compressible, that means that in terms of packability, it's really gonna take up more space in your bag or in your pocket. So when you have this in like your pants pocket or something like that, you can definitely see the shape of it pretty significantly. And same with keeping it in your, um, like a sling or something like that, you can see kind of the outline of it at all times, which, for me, it just seemed a little bit overkill. Um, I don't necessarily need these very, very durable materials on a wallet. I think it's nice and it definitely feels like it's going to last a very long time and it's held up really well over testing. But in terms of you know this being outside of my pocket or outside of my bag long enough to need that durability, it's a little bit overkill for me. So I'm gonna look at this really quickly in comparison to the just regular Bellroy card pocket. This is the all conditions, this is the regular. The regular is the one that I use um, pretty much daily actually when I, uh, I was testing this all condition. So I switched over to that obviously, but I will be switching back to this one because I just like it a lot more. You can see that the size of it is, you know, it squishes down a lot easier. And granted, this is completely empty, but this is what I'm talking about when it's empty. You know, as you fill it up, it starts to get a little bit bigger. So it has a pretty similar inside. I'm just going to kind of give you a quick look at that. Um, there's one sleeve instead of two. And then there is this back slip pocket, but no key leash. So there isn't a second pocket on the other side, which I do like that about the um, all conditions pocket. But you can see like it's a little bit hard to like 
the, the cards start to butt up against the zipper here, whereas on the regular card pocket here, it's like an angled design. So it just feels like it has a little bit more room and then it's easier to get things in and out of the pocket without needing to butt up against the zipper. So I think this one here just like, it feels a little bit more fluid when you're using it. I do like that this one has two pockets, but they go up really high. So it's a little bit difficult to kind of sort through your cards and find the ones that you want really quickly. Cause it just sort of, it's like feels almost like a bucket. Whereas this one here is a little bit flatter and easier to open cause it's more flexible. So there you have it, the Bellroy All Conditions Card Pocket. Thanks for keeping it here at Packhacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.